every single expert I've been hearing and been reading about has said that this is a way. Wearing a mask, it might not be comfortable, it might not be politically expedient, but it is a way that literally can help save lives. And being a biblical Torah person, the sages have encouraged that if you save the life of one person, it's like you saved an entire universe. Hello, have a great day, so long. Being here in Oklahoma for over 20 years, I've been so enthusiastically infused with this Oklahoma standard where we go into dangerous places and we respond when people are in need. So I just saw here's an opportunity where if you wear a mask, even if you, out of all the 10,000 plus masks that we've already distributed, if one life is saved, it was worth the entire universe. We are going to do our best to respond to all the issues that are out there to the best of our ability. I mean, we've helped with food, we've helped with shopping, we've helped with financial resources. This was an opportunity together with the uh, United States Department of uh, uh, Health and Human Services. This was another way of being able to help people. We will continue to help them with masks as long as we, we have them and so long as donors are able to fill uh, the, the needs that we don't have for. So, I mean, the primary method of transmitting this virus is the, the tiny droplets that come out of your mouth. It's, it's just as disgusting as it sounds. And when you talk to somebody, you know, just in a casual conversation, you're, you're, you have the potential, both of you do, of transmitting the virus back and forth. And research demonstrates that just this simple cloth mask protects the other person at a, you know, by an 80%, you know, rate. And so, by lowering the chances of spreading the virus that significantly, it's such a simple solution and it helps us keep our businesses open. It helps us keep living our lives. Uh, if we would just do this simple act, along with washing your hands and trying to maintain distance, you know, we would see our case numbers fall dramatically. Hi, doll. How are you? There's five in a pack. Is one pack enough? You know, I want the community and, and honestly, not just the village, but for the entire city or the whole state even, to see us doing this and then maybe um, copy us and do the same thing. And I think that if we did that, you know, I think the spread of this virus, we might just see it go down to, I mean, not completely gone, but we could lower that percentage. It's too high right now. Hello, how are you guys? Yeah, I think events like these encourage usage, obviously. Just the message that sends is important. And then obviously if there's actually a challenge that somebody doesn't have access, I'm you know, very grateful to the Chabad, the rabbi, and the federal government for providing these masks for people. We want everybody to have one. That's the first step towards using one. So I'm glad that we could meet that need today. How many would you like for your family? Now it's pretty easy. It's pleasurable to serve when things are going well, the economy is up, people are healthy. It's a whole different world when things are challenging, the economy is not doing well, health is being challenged. That's when we're really called upon to serve. So. Humbly, I say that there's something very, very special that I would love to encourage everybody. Step out of your comfort zone and find a way to serve, whether it's with your time, whether it's with your expertise or with your resources. Go and serve because especially in a time of need, there's something really special about it. Mm -hmm.